Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Bhavesh Kumar. Today we're going to create a VPC endpoint in S3 bucket in AWS. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for future updates. Your comments are welcome for making these interactions better. Let's look at the details. Create a VPC endpoint in S3 bucket in AWS. We're going to create an S3 bucket. We're going to create a VPC endpoint and then verify VPC endpoint access to S3 bucket. It's lab time. Let's begin. Okay, guys, I have logged into the AWS console. And the first thing we're going to do is start looking at our infrastructure. Before we dig deeper in this console, let me show you what we have right now. This is a depiction of what we have in our AWS console. There is a AWS region. We have one VPC in a single zone. We have a private subnet. We have a public subnet. Both the subnets, they have a instance. One is in private subnet, private EC2 instance, public subnet. There is a NAT gateway in the public subnet. There is a main route table and then there is a private route table. The main route table has a internet gateway access from which you can go and access S3 bucket. Now for the private, we can go through a VPC endpoint which we haven't created yet and do the same access. The benefit of this is the internet gateway will take this data or the, the content that will flow between the bucket in your EC2 instance on public cloud while any data flowing through a VPC endpoint is going through AWS network, which means it is going through AWS data centers in the routes that AWS own. So it is more secure than a public network and that's why it is preferable. Not only that, it will have much more uh, efficient way to reach data and it will be much more secure as I already mentioned. Let's go back to the EC2 uh, console that we opened. So we can see there are two instances running. Let's look at both the instances. This instance has a public IP address. Let me rename this to public for ease of reference. This one has a private address, so let me make it private so you have seen the two ec2 instances let's go back to this let me open s3 i'm gonna create a s3 bucket we already have a s3 bucket but let me create another one for this lab and we can rename it to be unique so I am just keeping all other stuff as default so there is no change we got this VPC endpoint in today's date once we are done with this we are going to the Amazon console again and I'll go to endpoints. I'll search for endpoints. And you can see there is a feature under VPC. You can even go to VPC and create an endpoint. Now you can go and create an endpoint. You can name this endpoint whatever you want. I'm gonna say my first endpoint. And the service that I want to search for is S3. I'm going to use US East 1 S3. And what kind of service I want, what kind of VPC endpoint I want. I want a gateway endpoint. And we are going to select our single VPC. What route table do you want so we'll have to look into the route table and 
I'm going to open the route tables in a new tab. Okay, looking at this route table, if you look at the routes, it has a local route, it has an internet gateway route, which means this is a public route table. Let's look at the other one. If you look at this one, this one number of routes is only one, which is local. Let me rename that to private, maybe like a private route table. And if you go back to VPC endpoint, again, so we have to choose a private route table because if you look at the diagram, we are making a VPC endpoint and we are connecting to an S3 bucket, but we are connecting this VPC endpoint to a route table, which is private. That's what we have selected. So we are building that. We have selected that route table. We can say full access and let me see associated with subnet. Let me check the subnet once. It should be a private subnet. So we'll look at two subnets that we have in this VPC. And you can see this private route table is also associated with that 452 subnet. And this is public in nature. So let's come back to this. We'll not create any custom policy, give it full access. You should not do that for any kind of production use. And I'm going to create a endpoint. So there is a gateway endpoint. The status is available. You can look at the status being available. And if you look at the route table, this private route table, which we already have over here, if I refresh this, you should see additional route for VPC endpoint populated as part of our actions of creating a VPC endpoint. So this wasn't there. This is VPC is for endpoint and then there is a number. Once you have this, how do I verify that VPC endpoint is working? Which means I want to see that I can access S3 bucket from using the private EC2 instance and the traffic should go through a VPC endpoint to access S3 bucket. In the other case, it is going through uh, internet gateway, which means all traffic will flow through this, through internet gateway, through public internet to S3 bucket. Let me open our terminal to SSH to the public instance and then the private instance so I open this terminal. Now I will do an SSH cloud discover user. And let me get the IP address, the public IP address. Let me copy the public IP address. Public IP address of this EC2. You have this EC2, this public IP address. And then enter, say yes, and then it requires a password. Let me copy and paste the password. And then you can see uh, the IP address showing as 10.0.0.116. You can see the private IP address of this machine is 10.0.0.116. From this machine, I need to go and look at the private instance. So I will do an SSH and again cloud underscore user at I'll go to the private IP address and paste that 
again yes and then i will have my password to that machine something pressed so if you look at the private ip address and look at the terminal both of them are showing the same 10.0.1.57 and now what I can do is I can do AWS S3 LS sorry S3 LS it should show me two buckets one was already created this one VPC endpoint 2022-1225 we created this bucket you can see this picture I first logged into this machine using SSH I did another SSH from this machine to the private instance and then from the private instance I did uh, AWS S3 LS which means S3 listing. It went through this route table using VPC endpoint, went to S3, got the listing and returned the results. So this was another way to access S3 bucket without going through a internet gateway. Yeah, that is the end of this lab. So I'll exit. And I can do a AWS S3 LS over here also. But this will go through public internet gateway. I'll exit through this machine also. And close the terminal. Another reference. You can look at this. Uh, just keep in mind there are two ways to access S3 bucket in this particular lab. One is through Internet Gateway, which is the regular way. You incur cost when you go through Internet Gateway. The data, the NAT Gateway data is being charged. If you go through private to NAT Gateway to Internet Gateway to S3, there are data charges that happens on the NAT Gateway side. But if you go through VPC endpoint, firstly, it is secure just because it doesn't go through a public internet. It goes through an AWS backbone network. The second thing is it is going to be much reliable as compared to the public internet. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll have more labs sooner. Thank you. Have a great day. This is the end of this lab. Please share your comments and suggestions. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell icon for future updates. This is your host, Bhavesh Kumar Saingaf. Thank you.